Good morning, it's Tony Hayes and Parlour Investigation UK. Today's date is the 21st of May 2022, just going up to 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Um, today we're going to look at, um, we're going to hopefully get through a couple of um, um, captures in the chest investigation. The reason why I'm holding off for a couple of weeks to do these is if, for example, a capture was done today, and I analyse it today, particularly if it's something that's new, I've not, not seen from the building before, it makes things difficult because I've got nothing to compare it to. So I tend to leave a couple of weeks just to see what occurs. So, uh, for example, if I'm dealing with a particular unusual bang today, and to get another one in two days time and another one a few days after then another one a few days after that i've already listened to them over time and then when i go back to begin and begin to analyze them i generally have an idea where i'm going to go with this and to see if the uh, the bangs in particular are going to be unique because you watch it certainly happened to the building over recent weeks in chester so for example um we know that the owner moved into the new building around about i think it's about the 7th of um april yeah it was the 7th of april uh almost immediately because the the difference now with the new room is that was the original room what we call the empty room it was completely empty divided by everything the building then, this area was divided up and a, and a new business moved into this and they're using the fire escape as a normal exit and entry point. So they've got no way, they can't enter the building by not any other uh, method. The building owner then decided that he wanted to move into the empty room on the on the area that was left um, and that occurred on the 7th of April so the room is divided there that's a new business we know about the room is put another dividing wall across this area here where this bit here was the original um, sink sort of kitchen unit which, which has always been there they put the partition across there so that has become a bit of a meeting in the moment it's a storeroom with the main office area here that's how it's working and work started on the 7th we immediately then began to get um, CCTV alerts I became particularly interested in bangs that started to occur over a two hour period and they're always very, very similar to the point where I'm confident that the same object was involved with making the sounds because there has to be uh, some form of energy transfer for this thing to occur. Um, it's always not like um, something that's just fell over, which tend to be one-off events. This is something that's continued, and it continued again over a number of days, which is quite strange. Um, it then changed then. We, we certainly had, uh, as we move on to the 18th of April, the sounds we were experiencing differed slightly. The frequency got a little bit tighter, which is where we were at. Uh, with the last um, evidence coming on the 18th of April, uh, which is just over four weeks ago. We're now on the 21st of May. So the one I'm going to look today, that I'm going to be doing, doing numerous ones, is this one is for the 25th of April. This is an unusual one. And this is relative to um, some unusual sounds that the owner could hear. So let's go to the ritual. I'd already worked on this one, so I know exactly how this one's going to turn out. So let me just turn this out. 
Um, I've got all the volumes on maximum, I think. Uh, looks like I've got battery disconnected. Let's just switch the battery on. Okay. So the owners outside the building. That's just my breath. Because <clears throat> he's heard something. This is the wooded area. We feel that sound there. Well, he said it sounded like a growl. Um, this one here, you see some steam in a second. Like a mist there. Let's go back a bit. That there is a, um, a central heating boiler that's immediately behind him uh, as a vent. A central heating vent and that's what that causes that uh, misty shape that's just my breath there the, that's all mm. that's all that is okay you can hear that growl sound so what I did then I um, started to, to, to look very carefully at the um, at them okay that is a cow and you can see the frequency there when you start to look at the frequency of the uh, one that was captured on CCTV sorry on his mobile phone it's the same so although we are generally this is the, the belt so the actual um, cow was in this field here that was the area there um, that's the a, a, a general cow and these are the ones that the uh, have been analysed. So we can, I can say with some conviction that as far as this date on the 25th of April was concerned, what was captured was certainly a, uh, a cow growling behind. I generally had a good idea, but there's a difference between, yeah, I think that sounds like a cow, to actually physically investigating it and I may well do a um, uh, second video at some point just covering growls it's not the first time I've dealt with any animals when they've been captured in an audio farm so that's as far as that one's concerned um, the event did happen and to keep the record complete I'm actually going to write, write it up and cover this event in the um, in the main report because you don't just uh, record positive uh, captures you record everything even those that you know are negative and you know um, you know we, we can all be very sure that a cow and a moving in a field is certainly not paranormal so hopefully that's helpful to bring you up to speed because I've not done a a video for a number of weeks now probably about four weeks so um i'm gonna probably look to do a couple more today before I finish for the day okay see you soon bye